Hey guys, Ike here from Ike'sOutdoors.com. We're here today to show you how to adjust the trigger pull weight on your Mossberg Patriot. Okay, so this Patriot's got an aftermarket stock on here. This is our Boyd's stock that we're working with this thing. Before I hit it to the range with some of my hand loads, I want to adjust the trigger pull on this down to, I want to see how low I can get it. Um, I'm hoping I can get it down to two pounds or less since this is going to be strictly probably strictly a a um, just a, a long distance gun so, so it probably is not going to see the deer woods very very often so what I want to do is this is a very simple process all you need on this is is a flathead screwdriver your uh, wrench to take your action screws out your allen wrench and then your your pull scale your i call it a draw weight scale um <laughs> because i got an archery background but you're going to need your trigger pull scale um pretty easy to do all you got to do is take your two action screws out and then there is a screw in the front of this trigger assembly you can turn that counterclockwise to lower the draw weight lower the pull weight you can turn it clockwise to increase the uh, trigger trigger draw weight. I keep wanting to call it draw weight because I've got such an archery background, but it's your trigger pull weight or whatever it's called. That's what we're working on is our trigger pull weight. So I'm gonna get the camera set up above our head here and we will show you how easy it is to change this. See if we can get it down to two pounds. Okay, so adjusting this trigger is gonna be pretty easy. All you're gonna need is a flathead screwdriver of the appropriate size and your trigger pull scale. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, once you get this out of the stock, is you're gonna locate the adjustment screw right here on the front of the Mossberg Patriots trigger assembly. Now, if you screw that in, if you screw it clockwise, you are going to uh, increase the amount of pull. If you screw it counterclockwise or out, you are going to decrease the amount of pull. So we want to, decrease the amount of pull on this thing so we are going to go ahead and turn this out just a little bit we've got it at about three and a half pounds to start out with so we're going to make a few adjustments and then i'm going to i'm going to turn it out quite a bit and then i'm going to take a quick and we're going to make sure this gun is unloaded We're gonna take a quick measurement with it like this and see just kind of where it's at ballpark before we put it back in the stock. I'd like to get it around two pounds. That's right at three right now. I'm gonna go ahead and screw it out just a little bit. It's on the bottom side of two. I'm gonna screw it out just a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the stock just to get a more accurate measurement of this. I don't know that you need to do this but I like to do it is just to have it in the stock when I'm doing the final uh, trigger pull. So I'm not going to put any of the action screws or anything like that in. I'm literally just going to set it down in the, in the stock and pull it with it in the stock. And you can see there we got a big difference. So we are now down to right at two. I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna make just one, maybe half turn on that screw before we go ahead and put it back in there. I don't wanna screw this thing out too far, so we're gonna go ahead and just screw it out another half turn. And we're gonna put it back in the, the stock and we're gonna try it again. Again, we're doing the same thing, we're not putting any of the action screws in at this point. We are literally just setting it down in the stock so we get a more accurate trigger pull on our scale. And we got about just the same as we did last time. We're just a little bit over two. So that may be as low as we can get this thing. I don't want to back it out too much more. I'm already starting to see some Loctite on there and it's already starting to lose some friction. So I think that's where I'm gonna go ahead and leave it, right there at the two pound mark. Now, if I wanna increase this, again, all I do is turn it clockwise, and if I wanna decrease it again after that, I can turn it counterclockwise. So now, now that we got our trigger pull uh, weight established, all we gotta do is put our action screws back in, and that is a pretty simple process. Just gonna turn this thing up, using our torque wrench, 
we're going to put our action screws back in there and set them to the appropriate uh, mount of torque on here. So pretty easy process to change the um, trigger pull on your Mossberg Patriot. Okay, so when you put those action screws back in there, make sure you get them to the proper torque. Um, that's always pretty important with these guns if you don't have a really good bedding system um, is to put those back in at the proper torque. So we didn't get it down to two pounds, but we got it pretty close. It's two and, I don't know, two and an eighth, two and a quarter of a pound. So that's pretty good. And again, make sure these guns are, are clear. Make sure to check the barrel, the receipt, or the... Um, I screwed up when I put this back together. I just realized that I screwed up when I put this back together and didn't put the magazine well, the magazine catch back in there. So I have to take it back apart and put that back in there. When I looked in there, I saw wood and I was like, wait a minute. So you want to check your barrel, you want to check your magazine well, and you want to check the face of your bolt to make sure there's nothing in there. But we now have a nice, crisp two pound trigger pull, which is exactly what I was wanting out of this. Well, it's a little bit more than two pounds. so. It's pretty close to what I was wanting, but super easy to adjust, something that anyone can do, and it shouldn't be a problem to do that at home. So, this gun is now ready to shoot. If I can get some weather and get some time to get out and shoot, I've got some hand loads made up for it. I didn't have enough powder to do very many, uh, but I got some hand loads made up for it. Got the new Boyd stock on here, got the trigger set. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to try it out, see what kind of accuracy we can get out of this thing. And what I've done is I've got the exact same load that I was shooting before. I've got a target that shows what those kind of groups those were putting up. And they were a little bit over an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out and see just what just this stock makes. If that will decrease the, uh, the, the groups on here. Then I'm going to bring it back and I'm going to pillar bed it. And I'm going to take the exact same ammo out again and see what, what that does to the groups. And then we're going to really start dialing in the uh, hand loads to get it to that exact you know half inch MOA um, group but I want to see what each one of these will do as we go along so we've, we've shot it pretty much factory and now we have put the boys stock on there and adjusted the trigger a little bit we're going to do it step by step and see what we can get out of this by doing each step and see what each step does to that overall uh, group on this thing hopefully it'll get it down to where we want um, I think the biggest thing is going to be the bullet but let's see what just this Boyd stock does so appreciate you guys watching this and if you want to see these these builds before we start putting videos out we put this stuff up on our social media we're on Ike's out, or, uh, we're on Facebook and Instagram on Ike's Outdoors or under Ike's Outdoors so you can catch us there you can see all these guns that we're building and kind of what we're doing as we go on there so please be sure to like subscribe and share these videos if you're watching these videos and you're and liking the gun content hit that subscribe subscription button and that lets us know that you're liking it comment below let us know that you're liking this stuff and kind of let you let us know what you want to see in the future so appreciate you guys doing that appreciate you guys watching